Today on Low Tech Garage, we're actually going to teach you how to use a unique style of tool. Now, most of you guys have probably used a torque wrench at this point. You know that it's a wrench that allows you to meet a certain torque specification. Basically, this is good for any bolts that have a very specific torque that they need to be set at. But most of you have probably used the more modern click style wrenches where you twist the handle, set the torque, and then basically it clicks when it reaches the torque, at least in theory. A lot of these wrenches are known to wear out, or sometimes if you have an older one, they can be very unreliable as far as the torque specifications. So there's an older style of torque wrench called a beam style torque wrench, and that is this little guy right here. So as you can see, uh, it consists basically of a head where the actual uh, socket mounts. This is a quarter inch drive being an inch pound. Uh, you don't need a bigger drive than that. And then you have these two beams, a top one, which has a pointer attached to it, and a bottom one, which is your handle and also has the gauge on it. And you can probably already predict roughly how this works, but I'm gonna show you. So I'm currently torquing down the, uh, the caps for these camshafts here. They have an inch pound specification or a Newton meter specification that's pretty low. So you don't wanna use a bigger torque wrench. A lot of uh, foot pound torque wrenches start at 10 foot pounds and uh, you really start to lose accuracy when you're going as low as possible on one of those wrenches. This is very straightforward. So I've got it on my little eight mil bolt there and we're gonna go for 80 foot pounds. So you can see as I'm leaning on this, it's bending the bottom arm and it's reading what the torque specification is. Now these threads aren't perfectly clean. So you see how periodically there's a little bit of drag and then the needle will catch back up. So I'm going slow and steady, but you can see that that torque is climbing. And our goal is to get up to the 80 inch pound mark. And we want it to be a truthful one. We don't wanna spike it to 80 foot pounds and then have it settle back. So right there, we can see that that is truthfully at 80 foot or inch pounds. Now, I've only used this tool a couple of times, but I've already been very impressed by how straightforward it is. There's no messing around with setup or anything. You just put it on and you basically tighten the bolt until you get the torque specification that you need. Uh, and also, it doesn't really seem like it's gonna fall out of calibration. I mean, maybe after a really long time, the metal might start to fatigue and change, but I feel like that would take a lot longer than the fine springs and things like that inside of a click style torque wrench. So this one is from the brand uh, Nako Tools or Nico Tools. We'll include a link to it in the description as well so you can get this exact one if you're looking for a good um, inch pound torque wrench. It's available on Amazon, should ship to you pretty quickly. And you may be wondering if they make larger versions that do foot pounds, they absolutely do. Uh, you can get foot pound beam style torque wrenches as well. I don't personally own one of those just yet, but I may get one in the future. For now, I've been very pleased with this. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is very helpful for you and hopefully your future torquing will be a little easier.